If you're a proper car nerd, you might remember that a few years ago Citroen made a hot hatch version of the DS3 called the DS3 Racing. Inspired by R3 spec rally cars, it was truly hardcore but short-lived. So what's this? Well, it's a long time coming, that's what it is. Half a decade later, DS has finally dusted off the blueprints and now we've got this, the DS3 Performance. A full production model, no less. It's ever so slightly more subtle than the DS3 Racing, but it's still a proper beefy little monster to look at, with a lower stance 18 inch alloy wheels, carbon fibre side mouldings and a twin exit tailpipe. It's not as leery as a Focus RS or an A45 AMG, but it's still sporty and assertive in its own way, a more fashionable approach to B-Road Blitzkrieg than many of its hot hatch rivals. And to tell you what, that doesn't make it any less rapid. So here's the specs, 205 brake horsepower and 300 newton meters of torque from the same 1.6 litre turbo 4 that's in the Peugeot 208 GTI, along with sports suspension that's been lowered by 15 millimetres. Track's been increased by 26 millimetres at the front and 14 at the rear, while there's also a Torsen limited slip differential and a 6 speed close ratio gearbox. Quite similar to the GTI then, but DS says that this car is meant to be a bit more everyday, with its own set of damper settings, spring rates and steering that's a little less weighty than the Pugs as well. However, hit a bad patch of tarmac or take a speed bump a little too vigorously and your now liquid vertebrae will dispel any rumours that this is in any way an everyday car. Hardly that's due to the suspension, but the steamroller sized wheels also play a role, with skinny Michelin Pilot Super Sport tyres stretched so thinly over them that they look like they're almost painted on. Refinement is definitely an issue then, with lots of tyre roar and also wind noise that creeps into the cabin, while the shortened gear ratios mean that the car sounds boomy at motorway speeds. Enough of that though, because it's fast. Like, really fast. The engine revs high and hard until it hits the limiter, not to 62 miles per hour takes just 6.5 seconds, and it'll rock it all the way on to 143 miles per hour if you show it enough tarmac. Thrall response is immediate, there's loads of grip, the steering's got a nice weight to it as well and the car feels at all times precise and balanced. Tip it into a corner quickly and you can really feel the front diff work its magic as you start to apply the power again. However, there are a couple of little niggles that I do have with the car. For a start, the driving position is a little bit awkward, visibility isn't amazing either, the clutch is a little bit light and a little bit high, while the big Brembo brakes do an amazing job of scrubbing off speed, but they bite so sharply that they can be hard to smoothly apply when you're quickly approaching a braking zone. The one major problem that I have with the DS3 performance though, is that it just doesn't feel all that fun. It's not to say it's a bad car, because it isn't, it just, there's a little sense of thrill feels a little cold, a little clinical. Again, it's far from terrible because at all times it feels fantastically controlled and fast enough to snap knicker elastic, but in a way that's almost it. It's just fast. Hot hatches, French hot hatches in particular, are meant to be fun, but to me this just doesn't feel as immediate, as lively or ultimately as enjoyable at full pelt as something like a Fiesta ST or a 208 GTI. There's no doubt in its credentials though, and even somebody who knows absolutely nothing about cars will be able to take one look at its imposing bucket seats and know that this is something just a bit more sinister than your average hatchback. Aside from that, it's pretty much just regular DS3 though, right down to the integrated air freshener up here, although some people might find the gold dashboard just a little overkill. If you would like to know more about the cabin though, you can do so by watching our standard DS3 review by clicking on the link on screen now. It is well equipped though with things like a new 7 inch touchscreen infotainment system, a reversing camera and automatic lights and wipers. Satnav is a pricey option though as you'll either have to cough up a grand for the GT pack or opt for the higher performance black trim. These large seats do take up quite a bit of room though and as a result it can be hard to clamber in and out of the back. Once you have managed to wriggle your way in, head and legroom are tight and so for anybody over 6 foot you mightn't have the best time back there. The boot at least makes up for the car's lack of space, the 285 litres, which is more than rivals like the Audi S1 and the Mini Cooper S. Fold the rear seats down and you get 980 litres, which makes it one of the most practical cars of its size and of its type. 
The DS3 Performance is priced from $22,995, while our Performance Black model with a couple of neat extras like the paint job costs $23,345. But get this, DS says that this car can return up to 52.3 miles per gallon with just 125 grams per kilometre of CO2, making it one of the most efficient hot hatches around. In truth, we've only been getting 35.7, but we have been driving it rather uh, vigorously. A beefy hot hatch that looks this good and goes this tenaciously is surely a recipe for success, but all the same, I just can't escape the feeling that there's something missing. Aesthetically, mechanically, functionally, it's all there, but there's a chuckability, a sense of joy that the hot hatch grates exude, but that this one just doesn't seem to. It's almost as if it feels a little bit above it all. Maybe it's the incongruity between the car itself and DS's new premium aspirations. Instead of Haute Couture, more Haute Moture? Again, it's not a bad car at all. It's fast, it's funky, and in the boot at least, it's reasonably practical. But for me personally, it's almost like a piece of classical art. I can appreciate it, but it just doesn't do much for me. But what do you think of the DS3 performance? Would you have it over any other hot hatch? Let us know in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the inquire button to find out more details about this car, or for any other models, visit carkeys.co.uk. And to watch more reviews, click on one of the links on screen now.